Welcome to Truly Force Free Animal Training. Today I want to introduce you to a product that I love. Um, this is a harness from uh, Two Hound Designs. It's called the No Pull Freedom Harness. I love it for a lot of reasons and let me just kind of share some of them. So when you put the harness on it's very simple to put on. So it has usually, I happen to have a black one but they come in a variety of colors but they have a top part that's almost like a martingale that will tighten. This is the part that goes over and will be on the, your dog's back. So you just slide it over their head and this is on their back. Then this little strap right here just slides between their legs, their front legs, and then all you have to do is snap each side. And I love it um, because now your dog doesn't have to step into a harness. Um, it's really simple to attach. You just slide it over their head and snap it on. It's very, very simple. These clamps are pretty easy to use. And I also love it because this bottom strap that goes between their um, legs and under their arms is made out of velvet. So it's a little softer for those dogs who have really short hair coats like Scout. Um, sometimes when they're made out of this more nylon, um, it can be really abrasive and rub and it's not as comfortable. So um, those are some things I really like about how it's designed. I also like because it has a lot of versatility. So you can really size it to fit your dog perfectly. So each side shoulder strap um, can be adjusted. The strap between their chest can be adjusted as well as this velvet strap can be adjusted. I find that it fits most dogs really well. Where other harnesses I have used, the dogs can slip their legs out, um, they're too tight, they're too um, in different places. So um, I really have found that even deep chested dogs do well with this. Um, then what I also love, besides just the design, I love this leash that comes with it. Um, and it has, the leash has two buckles and then it has the handle. So with the buckles, you can attach it to the part that's between the shoulder blades on their back as well as on their chest if you have a dog that pulls really really hard and then you have kind of a double control rather than just one that's on the chest or just one that's on the back so that double leash really helps have control of your dog if your dog doesn't need you know isn't that bad of a puller but you still are like this harness you can just attach um, it to the back or just attach it to the chest. You don't have to attach it to both. For me, when I'm walking my dogs maybe in the city or um, where there's a lot of crowds, I will keep the double leash attached. But if I'm on a hike or I'm out somewhere where I don't really care quite as much if maybe I'll even let them be ahead of me, I might attach it to the back attachment and even sometimes keep the whole leash long where I don't put both buckles on the attachment on the back, I keep it long so they have a little more flexibility and a little more freedom. I really find that this harness is a great um, harness that fits most dogs. So um, you can check it out on our website at, and um, you can even click the link there to go directly to the website to get a harness like this. Like I said, it is a variety of colors, great um, for all different dogs and I really find that um, it's very comfortable. And I always like putting a harness on a dog over a flat collar because the flat collars still cause some different pressures on the neck, on the trachea and the esophagus. And I really want my dogs to be safe and comfortable. So I hope you check out this harness and we'll see you next time.